How would you like to enter Jannah? That's the question this week. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Amin with Sera Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. Uh, this week I just wanted to share a reflection on Ramadan. You know, uh, we already did the planning for Ramadan, so if you followed that, you should have you know certain routines, that, certain things you're trying to accomplish every day. For example, reading some Quran, reading one juz or whatever of Quran every day, and you know you're kind of getting in the routine of that by now. You know, so it's about a week into Ramadan now, and um, and you know you you you're kind of getting used to it, and you might have other goals that you've set and you're kind of following, and you know when I'm planning my Ramadan part of the way I think about it is how do I want to enter Jannah like why do I want to enter Jannah what is the reason that Allah will have mercy on me and enter me into Jannah is it because of Quran is it because of helping my parents is it because of my charity or um, my dua whatever and you know hopefully Allah will accept these things from us when we do them the point is that if you don't try and set a goal with how are you going to enter Jannah? You know what? You can't. You can't kind of just go about your life, and you know, try and just follow what the thing is to do. You know, have a family, try and make a living. Um, you know, pray and stuff like that. It's good, of course, um, but it's better to be more specific about how how will I try to gain Allah's mercy to get into Jannah. And so, in Ramadan, it's a good time to think about that because you're establishing these routines and. For me, routines is what will get me into Jannah, if, if I think about it. It's like doing stuff which is regular. And when, I, when I've built upon that, I've set a regular routine of something good, some, something that inshallah Allah will, uh, will um, reward me for, and then building upon that again and again and again throughout my life until, you know, one day I'm reading ten minutes of Quran, the next day I'm reading in, uh, not the next day, the next um, year I'm reading 15 and the next year I'm reading 20 and you know as you as time goes by and you get older and stuff you uh, inshallah you're gonna be reading more and more an hour a day etc so so yeah this is this is my idea you know don't don't make this just about one year uh, about one Ramadan about one month I would make it about how do I want to enter Jannah what are the routines I want to establish um, that hopefully I could continue again and again I can build upon and that will be the reason I get into Jannah because like we said in the podcast as well recently it's like what is that good thing that you want to be known for not that you're going to show off your good deeds but that you do something so often or you're so into something that people know you for it oh there's that guy you know he reads his Quran always we're, we're chilling you know I remember there's one guy I tell you a real story he was so into his Quran and his memorization of the Quran once we were at this kind of conference in a masjid and a lot of people were sleeping the night in the masjid and we were you know obviously it's a kind of environment where everyone's just hanging out chilling and stuff and he was with us and at one point he just kind of disappeared out of the group he disappeared and then I looked and I found him and he was uh, reading Quran in the corner on his own and so He's so dedicated to to his memorization that you know he he left the group where we're all chilling you know it's a rare occasion that everyone's together and he did that you know and th so that's what you could say he was known for so you know think about that you know what do you want to be known for at least by the angels right and uh these are things that inshallah if we do consistently always ask allah to accept our deeds that these will be the things yani, that will cause allah to have mercy on us so you know, think of, you know, how do I want to enter Jannah? What routines do I want to set in Ramadan when it comes to my ibadah? What are things that I can do that I can actually be consistent with? Maybe in 10 years, I want to be reading an hour a day. Okay, right now I don't read anything outside of Ramadan. Okay, let me do five minutes a day. You know, these kind of things. And the flies are attacking me. This is my thought for this week. I didn't... I hope it's not a cliche kind of Ramadan video. It's it's something real and something, hopefully, a bit deeper than usual, uh, than the usual kind of Ramadan inspiration. It's not inspiration. It's what concrete things are you gonna do every day uh, to try and gain the pleasure of Allah and to continue every single day of your life and build upon. 
and you know often those things are going to be small things and over 10 years you're going to build more and more and more inshallah so think about that and let me know in the comments what some of these small regular things you can do assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah